nice You should open your heart, I wanna see what you so like Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when die day What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech My name is Ben, your host So today when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the fourth developer beta Unfortunately, even though this update has just been released today it does come with some bad news so there seems to be a very serious issue when it comes to updating your device to mac os 14 sonoma at least beta 4 and this is affecting a wide number of users that are coming from beta 2 beta 3 or updating to mac os 14 sonoma even for the public beta there's discussions about this in different forums and for example you can see here that mac mac rumors actually post to the public service announcement to let users know that mac os 14 sonoma beta 4 is not installing properly for some users and you can see here that a wide variety of users have installed the beta only to be greeted by an entirely black screen and a non-functional device the only thing that will show up is the mouse pointer but nothing else shows up in the display and these are some of the affected macbooks that you can see here so this includes m2 mac m2 14 inch macbook pro m1 macbook air and m1 max macbook pro but not all users are having installation troubles so there have been number of reports and as you can see this has been reported on reddit it has been reported on twitter some users have had luck by just rebooting their devices and that seems to fix the issue but fortunately for me i've installed this on my device i created a backup because i knew this issue could have happened so this didn't affect me and hopefully if you're going to be updating your device hopefully it doesn't but if you are going to be updating your device i would suggest updating the backup device first and then seeing the update or if you have one of these affected devices then if you want to hold off at least for like a day or two because this is just the developer beta that has just been released if it's stable enough this beta phone then apple will release the same version or a better one that will be released to the public beta in about a day or two if it's if they polishes most of the issues and bugs that are there now when it comes to this update for me on my macbook pro this came in at exactly 2.28 gigs and i did the download and the download file size jumped to about 3.53 gigs now this is not all that apple released actually if we go into the apple developer section here you can see they released ios 17 beta 4 as well as ipad os 17 beta 4 mac os 14 beta 4 of course this is the video for that and watch os 10 beta 4 which i've just done a video on so check it out and then tv os 17 beta 4 these all these updates are highlighted came out today on july 25th but then yesterday they released all these updates ios 16.6 alongside ipad os and then mac os 13.5 if you aren't on mac os 14 sonoma yet and you're on ventura this was released yesterday and watch os 9.6 as well as tv os 16.6 and for some older iphones and ipads they released ios 15.7.8 alongside the iver the ipad version rather so those are some of the updates if you want to get to know what's new with these updates then definitely do give me a like and subscribe so that you won't miss out now let's go into our system settings here and if we go to where it says general and go to software update we want to see the build number that comes with this update you can see it's up to date and it's 23a 5301g so this build number has a G at the end and in terms of stability we took two steps in the positive because the previous beta actually had an I and for some reason I'm not holding my mouse. You can see my mouse is sort of jiggling around or playing around so 
I don't know why this is the case. It seems to be a bug with the mouse itself. And then also something that I wanted to highlight is the storage that's being taken up by this update. So if we go to the storage settings and we go all the way down, we want to see how much macOS storage is taken up. And you can see it here. It's taking 19.15 gigs before that it was taking 19.23 so it went down in terms of storage a little bit now when it comes to some of the settings that are here with this update i'll be happy to let you know that if you go into your settings and you go to where it says passwords and you unlock your device if i do unlock mine or use my fingerprint it will show a bunch of my personal passwords but with macOS 14 Sonoma, credential provider API for password managers has been extended to support pass keys for apps and websites across the system. So now that Apple has made this possible, it's now up to developers to make sure that their sites as well as their application or softwares are compatible with this and you'll be able to utilize this with pass keys. And then the next thing is if you go into your settings and you go to where it says general and you go to where it says um, airdrop and handoff right here and you have handoff enabled and you are signed into your iCloud with your Apple ID right here. If I go to where it says video and go to continuity camera right here for the iPhone 14 Pro. It just takes a moment and you can see it's working properly unlike what we had before. And I believe I do have the options to be able to zoom in and out. So with continuity camera and handoff, the issues that were there before have been resolved. And if you are on a call using FaceTime, and whether it's an old FaceTime audio or FaceTime video call, it's not dropping calls. And if you go to the video settings here, you can zoom in just like that. And you can also zoom out um, using this tab here that you see when you are doing a FaceTime call. So that's a plus and it's a good thing that this issue has been resolved. And then when it comes to iPhone widgets and removal. There seems to be an issue with that because if you go to where it says desktop and dock right there and you go to where it says show iPhone widgets. So I'll enable my widgets but right there you see that my widgets are not properly showing up. Sometimes it's a hit and miss. They do show up and then at other times they don't. And then when it comes to the widgets through continuity camera that allows you to use iPhone widgets on your device. This also seems to be a hit and miss even with beta 4 similar to what we had with beta 3. And also when it comes to airdrop if you have a device or something that you want to share um, I'll be happy to let you know that it seems to be more stable and if you are sharing to a MacBook or an iPhone or someone that you have saved in your contacts and you share to airdrop it's actually more stable and it's continuous and it also shows the person's profile or it shows the device that they are using like an iPhone or a MacBook or iMac and so on. So that's a plus. And then something I wanted to show you here has to do with Safari. So if we go to Safari and uh, here we want to go to about Safari and see the Safari version. So you can see we have version 17.0 and the build number that comes with this version is 19616.1.24.11.3. And that has been updated from the previous one that was 19616.1.20.11.3. And from uh, my test and experience using this, it seems to have fixed web page loading issues. So this, if I was to reload this page, it's pretty good Apple page. And then if I was to go to a third party page like uh, Mac rumors, you can see how fast that loads. So it seems to be, have fixed that. And also when it comes to internet downloads, this has resolved a bunch of issues that were there where downloads would not show up or downloads would stop midway. So 
that's a plus quite a number of people have mentioned that they are experiencing issues when it comes to using the music app sometimes it just crashes unexpectedly if anything major changes or anything else comes up i'll let you know on my social media handles and when it comes to when you can expect the next mac os 14 public beta that is public beta 2 or public beta 4 depending on what apple is going to name it i would say maybe tomorrow wednesday july 26 or 27 that's when we expect that and then the next mac os 14 beta 5 maybe the week of the 7th to the to the 9th of august that's when they might release the next beta 5 now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this update let me know what you think and um uh, be safe with this update think twice before updating and uh, if you like this video give it a like and i'll see you in the next video cheers Atmosphere, solitaire, feeling obligated, stupid, serenaded, bread. I got a baby scrutinized the lady, sick and tired of waving, sitting like the Navy.